Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Dr. Osborne. How are you today? I am fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us as I talk to people across America. Can you hear me? I can, I can. Thank you. I want my audience to know that Dr. John Osborne is the founder and the director of the State of the Heart Cardiology here in Dallas, Texas. Dr. Uh, Osborne, I'd like to start off with why are so many Americans at risk of cardiovascular events despite taking statins? So despite taking statins, 40% of us still die of a cardiovascular event, that's a stroke or heart attack. That means one death from a stroke or heart attack every 38 seconds in the U.S. And people think somehow statins, which are fantastic drugs and certainly the foundation of care as far as lowering cholesterol to lower the risk of strokes and heart attacks, Many people think if I take a statin, it's a checkoff box, I'm done, I'm protected. Well, that's not the case. If you take a statin, it lowers your risk by about 25 to 35%, but still, that means that we're still exposed to lots of cardiovascular risk, even despite taking a statin. When people are taking statin, this is not supporting everything that's wrong with them. Why do they think it's supporting their overall health in general? Well, again, statins are the foundation. They, we have 30 years worth of data showing that they're helpful to lower risk. Uh, they're, uh, again, they really are the foundation of cholesterol lowering. But one of the things we found over the last several years is that there's another factor, and here's what most people don't know, there's another cholesterol factor that always, for, for many years, has really been neglected, overlooked, uh, not appreciated as far as the risk, and that other cholesterol factor that we see on cholesterol or lipid profiles is triglycerides. And triglycerides are bad actors. In fact, patients with elevated triglycerides have about 35% greater risk of a cardiovascular event versus patients without triglycerides, even despite being treated with statins. I'm looking at Facebook. People are listening to us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the social media. And someone wanted to know, could you give them a brief understanding of what a statin is? Yeah, so a statin is a drug that basically blocks the synthesis, the, the manufacture in our cells, and particularly in the liver, of cholesterol. So that's all it does. It's basically, it's literally kind of a on-off switch uh, for the production of cholesterol. And that's, that's basically what statins do. Let's talk a little bit about fish oils, because now all of a sudden our doctors have us taking two things, uh, and I'm wondering, vitamin D and fish oil. So let's talk about fish oil supplements. Are they useful in protecting heart health? So in, in a word, no. In fact, we, we've done multiple, multiple studies over the last several years looking at the role of dietary supplement fish oils and such and really found no evidence of benefit. Not for lack of looking, but as we've looked, we found no evidence of benefit. And despite that, millions and millions of people, as we all know, take fish oil in the uh, non-scientific, unscientific uh, uh, despite the science to sh dis uh, that shows that uh, they, they don't add additional benefit. When people are at cardiovascular risk, and there's such a large percentage of us, what can we do to lower those risk factors? Sure. Uh, so beyond, obviously, lifestyle, diet, exercise, keep moving, no tobacco, uh, but also to have a discussion with your doctor. Uh, all of this is rapidly evolving. There's, we have science that has really told us over the last several years that there's a lot more that we can do. And plus there's a lot of things that we thought would benefit people. These are taking older drugs such as niacin, uh, phenofibrates, these are drugs called Tricor, Trilovix, that we thought would lower cardiovascular risk. We did studies and showed they offered no benefit. So I really encourage patients to talk to your doctor. There is a new FDA approved scientifically proven, evidence proven, guideline based now approach that can lower your risk dis, uh, on top of statin therapies for these deadly cardiovascular events, strokes and heart attacks. Patients and caregivers who want to keep this discussion going so that they can be more aware, where can you go online, Dr. Osborne, and get more information? Sure, go online to 
truetoyourheart.com. That's truetoyourheart.com uh, because it is so important that we protect our heart. We've only got one of them and we really need to make sure that uh, we're doing everything we can uh, to protect our heart health. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. I have used Credit Help USA the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>